What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. We're going to be testing out the Tesla full self-driving supervised version basically. So I did test it out around the neighborhood a little bit. Uh, it was some things that I did notice, but we're gonna see if it kind of smooths out on a longer trip. So for the destination that I'm going to right now, I'm gonna be traveling from Tampa, Florida to St. Augustine, Florida. And that's roughly around 180, 186 miles. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're new or returning, make sure you hit that like button. It's definitely appreciated. It's the best way that I and YouTube knows you guys enjoy this kind of content. And also, if you're in the market of buying a Tesla or you're about to buy a Tesla and you want some free stuff, free perks to go along with that purchase, make sure to use that referral code down in the description below. You will get tons of free things. Without any further ado, let's go. All right, so one thing I will say about the full self-driving is that it is very cautious, which is not a bad thing, it's very good, that it will kind of over protect the driver. So it'll make sure there's absolutely no people around, no cars coming before it makes its turn. But sometimes that I've noticed using this um, full self-driving, the supervised version is that Sometimes it doesn't pick up certain things. So I did have a moment where I was driving this route yesterday and we're at the same intersection right here and it starts like inching up as it's kind of doing right now. And it does see traffic coming both ways, but um, we waited for a while and I think the car kind of noticed that. So then it just tried to go after it inched up for a while, but there was a car coming. So you do have to make sure you look like a normal driver, don't just rely on the car to look for you. Like right now it's inching up, but there's a car coming. Don't just let the car decide for you all the time. See, right now it was gonna go, but there's literally a Jeep coming. So full self-driving, everyone who thinks Teslas can drive for themselves, they can to a certain extent. So I had to just take over there because it was inching up while a car was coming. And then I saw a gap to go the car is very hesitant sometimes with full self-driving so sometimes it should go and it won't sometimes it shouldn't go and it will so just be very aware that you do need to pay attention and have your hands on the wheel at all times to take over the camera that you have in the cabin is tracking your eyes basically to see if you're paying attention as well so it will disengage the full self-driving if there's been a period of time where you haven't put any input in or you're looking away from what's in front of you. So it's a good safety feature for Tesla, but also that's the whole point of this beta trial that everybody gets to use is that they can take this data and kind of make some tweaks to the system to kind of make it improved. And right now, the speed limit is set to 30 miles an hour. I put it five miles above 30 miles an hour. So it's set to 35, but based on whatever reasons, traffic, whatever the case is, we're only going about 19 and we have a good amount of distance between us and the car in front of us so it's drastically overcompensating for traffic right now um, again it's a lot of uh crosswalks around here so it's it's good that it's still kind of going slow just to kind of make sure there's no body or nothing in front of the car but 
it is going very sometimes it'll go like very slow and i notice also as well like if you're on a highway or just a regular road and you set the speed limit it, or it has a set speed limit but say you want to go five miles over that speed limit for some reason which you shouldn't be doing anyway technically if you're going over the speed limit you're speeding but it will only go the speed limit even if you make it go five ten whatever it is over the speed limit it will only go the speed limit so that's a good again safety feature but if you're one of those people who like to go fast all the time that feature is gonna piss you off because it's going to go the speed limit so right now Speed limit is 35, I had set it to 35, so let's see if I make it go up to 40. Will it accelerate a little bit? Yes, it's going to accelerate to 40. Now the speed limit is changing to 45. Let's see if it's still set to, or it's driving 40. So it's accelerating, it at least got to 45, but I set it to 50. Is it going to go to 50? It looks like it's not going to go to 50. It's just going to stay around 45. But we're also going around a bend, so. But yeah, it looks like it's increasing to 40 or to 50 actually. So it's kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes it'll listen to you, but sometimes it won't. But um, yeah, you put the uh, the address in. It's going to navigate you to that address. But like I said, you need to pay attention because even with autopilot, sometimes it doesn't read the road correctly with all the painting. Obviously, the markings on the road can be faded sometimes. So it'll make a sharp left or right turn. It'll just make a, like a sharp, drastic motion sometimes when it shouldn't. So I say all that to say, pay attention. But so far I am enjoying this taste of full self-driving. There's someone with the new Tesla uh, Model 3 as well. That's my first, actually second one I saw besides mine, um, which is pretty interesting to see because I don't see too many people with the new Model 3, at least in Florida that I've seen so far. But yeah, we're just going to let this navigate us all the way to where we're going while still paying attention and kind of keeping our hands on the wheel and our eyes on the road. Another thing I'll say is this thing is excellent with turn signals, knowing when to turn the turn signal on. Like right now, we need to merge. Like it's showing red on the side of the screen because obviously there's a car next to us, but we need to merge over. So it is excellent about knowing when to turn, when to turn the turn signal on and actually making those turns. It doesn't stop mid-turn because it's freaking out and it doesn't know where to go. It turns the turn signal on, makes the full turn for you, um, and it does it pretty smooth while making sure you're safe merging lanes or making turns, which I love. As far as the full self-driving, I would give this about a five or six out of 10. It disengaged sometimes when it shouldn't have, it didn't make certain turns. Also, additionally, uh, I noticed that if I would set the speed maybe five miles higher than the speed limit, it would only go to the speed limit limit, but also sometimes it would go under the speed limit, which kind of caused some congestion a little bit in traffic because it decided to go slower than the actual speed limit which I found quite annoying. It did read all the red lights, stop signs, yields, green lights and everything correctly, but it did have some mishaps where you have to take over. So keep in mind when you're purchasing, if you decide to purchase full self-driving, definitely going through this trial with the supervised version, just know it is not actually full self-driving. It does about 80% of the work you need to do the last 20. But yes, 
that is my review of the full self-driving supervise thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate it this was a fun kind of test to do make sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one peace